different types. So you can have toxins that come in from your food or there's toxins that your body naturally makes as just a part of the metabolic process of digestion and elimination. You know, your poop is toxic, yes? It's part of what your body gets rid of. So there's cellular waste that your body processes through and it has to get rid of it. So there's toxins that are, we can bring in. What would be a toxin that we, could, that we would take in? Uh, some additives, what else? MSG would be one, right? Anything, any, any kind of, all those long words on the package that you can't read, you can't, they're like 52 syllables, that's a toxin. If you can't pronounce it, it's a toxin. You can just, that's a good way to remember that. Heavy metals can be a toxin. Yes, we're gonna talk a little bit more about that. Um, preservatives, you know the worst ones are the nitrites and the nitrates. How many of you like bacon? I like bacon, I really like bacon. But you know, it's really not good for you. And this isn't even a pork conversation. This is just about the nitrites and the nitrates that they put in there. Those are known carcinogens. Do I need to translate that word for you? Okay, known carcinogens. You really want to avoid those. So that's a toxin that can come in. Smoking is obviously produces a lot of toxicity. Arsenic and lead being two heavy metals that you get from smoking, either directly from smoking or secondhand smoke. Uh, trans fats. Now it's all labeled. You know that there's a little loophole there. The trans fat can't, if it, the, the food industry says it has to, if there's this much trans fat, you have to label it. So what do you think the manufacturers do with the trans fat? Right there, baby. So when, if, if your label says zero trans fats, I don't think so, unless it's an apple. But the manufacturers are always gonna kind of push it right here so that they don't have to list it, but the trans fats are what make it taste good. Herbicides and pesticides, if you get your house sprayed, are those toxins? You bet, those are gonna have to be filtered. You know the most toxic place in your home, if you get, do have your house sprayed, like a uh, pest spray, the most toxic concentration of that is in the house, not outside. Why would it be inside? Because you wear your shoes. Well, you think that, that just because it gets sprayed somewhere, it stays there? It rains, it gets in the groundwater, the groundwater comes across the driveway, you're walking across the driveway, your kids are out running on the grass, and then they wear their shoes in the house, and it gets on the carpet, and it doesn't come out of the carpet. So they're very toxic. And then we put babies on the carpet, and we let them crawl around. Do, we don't, you know, see how we don't even think about it? We don't even think about it. But there, that's a very, very common um, problem with young kids is they get their exposure, these little ones, little toddlers crawling around on houses that have been sprayed. Um, antibiotics, prescription drugs, obviously. Any kind of gas, like uh, if you have, if work, you have a copier, you know that distinct smell that the copier makes? That's a toxin. Vaccines have toxins. We're not going to touch that too much, but you can do your research on that. Tattoos often have lead in them or mercury. Um, amalgam fillings, water. Would water be a source of toxins? What would we get in water? Chlorine, chloride, fluoride, right? Arsenic is in the water. You know now, when I would do hair analysis on people to look for metals, used to never see arsenic. And about four or five years ago, all the tests I got started coming back with arsenic in the hair. And I kept thinking, man, what is it around here? But I, I work with people from all over. so. But every test in the United States, every test would come back with a little bit low level of arsenic in the hair. I'm thinking, what is the deal? So finally, I did my research and found out that the EPA raised the levels of allowable arsenic in the water. And so now everybody's getting arsenic. You drink water. If you eat out, you're getting water. I mean, arsenic in your water. If you shower and you don't have a filter, is this porous? Done. Done.